Okay, so I want to talk about quercetin, and this is a flavonoid, and somebody made me aware of the fact that this can actually reduce uh, prostaglandin D2 production, and this is the same um, thing that they've discovered that may be able to help uh, cure baldness, because they found that people that have baldness have a larger amount of this prostaglandin D2 found in their scalps versus their non-balding um, counterparts. So I was looking up quercetin and it is a natural plant-derived flavonoid. It's found in fruits, vegetables, whole grains. It's also found in some supplements. and. Uh, I was looking to to see which foods contained a lot of quercetin so that you don't have to wait for so for a drug in order to start using it to help your hair um, which is kinda cool see nature and foods that God has given to us already have all of the compounds in them that keep us healthy and to help our health challenges see, God knows best he's our creator so I went ahead and I looked up the foods that were rich in quercetin and this is off Wikipedia and it says that black and green tea have the highest amount capers, lovage, apples, onion especially red onion, uh, red grapes, citrus fruit, tomato, broccoli, leafy green vegetables and a number of berries including raspberry, bog, whortleberry Ligonberry, cranberry, chokeberry, sweet rowan, rowanberry, seed buckthorn, crowberry, and the fruit of the prickly pear cactus. Um, and a recent study found that organically grown tomatoes had 79% more quercetin than conventionally grown. And a study by the University of Queensland, Australia, has also indicated. the presence of quercetin in varieties of honey including honey derived from eucalyptus and tree flowers as um, good amounts of it as well so um, bottom line is guys is that uh, don't wait for no drug and start eating natural foods that can help reduce the prostaglandin D2 in, to begin with you know um, because even when they do come out with some so-called drug that's supposed to cure your baldness. There's no guarantee either how that's going to interact with your body. We know that drugs, by definition, are poison. They're toxic to the body. And it's always best to get natural substances from whole foods, you know, things that aren't going to cause us side effects or harm that our bodies can actually recognize and use. So, you know, uh, just be very careful with whatever you do put into your body and realize that you know drugs are toxic and poisonous uh, regardless of what people try to tell you so um, that's the, the hard cold truth you're going to hear it from me from my own mouth um, get these natural substances do what you can through natural foods through natural lifestyle and uh, I guess that's all I have to share with you guys in this video uh, quercetin and I'll put the link in the uh, description if you want to look at it. It is quite interesting. So, with that, take care. If you like this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.